We are back, ladies and gentlemen, for the main event of Riot 554 as we have Court Martial taking on Antonio Everett with the All-American Court Martial coming down to the ring right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Glendale, Arizona, weighing in at 200. Court Marshall has one goal on his mind tonight in this main event, and that is to get past Antonio Everett. But I know that's going to be a challenge considering just moments ago we've seen Antonio Everett very conflicted on leaving his new friend El Parca, as Parca had just had a tough match with Shepard earlier in the night. But now the light heavyweight champion, after being yelled to get told to go to Gorilla, is finally now going to be making his way to the ring for this match. And his opponent from London, England, weighing in at 231 pounds, the light heavyweight champion, Antonio Everett, champion. Antonio Everett with a stride of absolute purpose here tonight as this man you can tell is very frustrated after T.Y. Sparks and a bunch of his goons came to try and attack him. His friend El Parca coming to the rescue, throwing a crossbody onto those men as we see Antonio Everett wearing the International Powers t-shirt that is now available at ocwshop.com. Be sure to pick that up today. And we all know that Antonio Everett did say this matchup is for El Parca as our main event of the evening is on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Court Martial versus Antonio Everett as both of these men lock up, collar and elbow tie up. Marshall pushing Antonio Everett onto the ropes. Let's see if we get a clean break and we sure do. As these men yet again, another collar and elbow tie up this time Antonio Everett pushing Court Marshall onto the rope both men exhibiting their strength tests there to one another and then for the third times the charm and then we see the tiebreaker with Antonio Everett pushing Court Marshall against that rope one more time another clean break by all of these men here Court Marshall getting a little bit sick of that. The knife edge chops exchanged by both men as now both of them are going to continue this back and forth battle to see who can get the momentum in the early going of this main event. And Antonio Everett, big suplex there by the Londoner as the man, one half of the international powers versus one half of Hollywood USA as Court Marshall and Justin Jess just forming a tag team. Antonio Everett, the repeated leg kicks dropping Court Marshall. Just a one count there by Ted. Court quick to get back to his feet. Bouncing off the ropes here. Antonio Everett was going for, I think, a big belly to belly, but did not connect there as Court instead just slapping both his wrists on Antonio's head. And Court Marshall, a huge knife edge chop, going for another, but Everett blocked it. Court blocking whatever Everett was going for. These men just, the back and forth battle here. And now Antonio Everett picking up the speed a little bit. Big knee to the face by Court, to Court Marshall. As now Everett, two big forearms to the back. And now what's he got going here? The super kick to the leg, and then a big mushroom stomp. To the chest of Court Marshall. That definitely did not feel good. And Everett going to follow it up with a huge deadlift gut wrench suplex. The strength on this man. Court Marshall is not some small man here. This is the heavyweight that Antonio Everett just deadlift picked up. But we all know that Antonio Everett lacks no strength in that category. Big knife edge chop by Everett, then the right hand, another right hand by Court Marshall. A big European uppercut by Everett, and then Court, very big counter there, clotheslining Everett, 
As now, what's Quirk going here? Throwing Everett over the ropes. That definitely did not feel good. The crash and burn onto that not so protective layering. And we got a couple inches of matting there that does not help much. And now Antonio Everett just throwing Court and Marshall on the, oh my God, big back suplex onto that barricade. We all know Court and Marshall does not enjoy those type of things. Ted is on four and Everett, huge meteora. The double knees to the face of Court Marshall, and right now I would have to say this is all Antonio Everett in the early going of this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Ted is on three, but Everett gets them both back in the ring, going for that quick pin. Not even a two count there, but it doesn't matter. Ev is just wearing down Court Marshall with those pinfalls. You gotta use the energy to kick out there, and now Antonio Everett, nice leg snap. Antonio Everett, very fired up here tonight, and I could only imagine so. And right now, your Ma's favorite knee is going to meet Court Marshall's temple, and that could be all it wrote, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, no, oh my goodness, Court Marshall kicking out of a variant of your mom's favorite knee. This man still has some fight left in him, but Antonio Everett, I'm assuming, has a whole lot more as Court Marshall, a huge Russian leg sweep as he flips back. The athleticism on this man is then he drops a huge knee to the forehead of Antonio Everett. Now Court Marshall starting to pull some tricks out of his bag, but Antonio Everett quick to stop that as he finishes it off with a nice dragon screw leg sweep. You can't walk, you can't do anything as Everett is doing an exceptionally well job of targeting those legs of Court Marshall. We see Court breathing in pain, but quickly he starts chopping at the leg of Antonio, followed up with a big elbow to the nose. It's Court Marshall trying to get some ground back here in this matchup, and another huge T-bone suplex by Antonio Everett. Everett is fired up here tonight. I don't know what happened, what triggered off in his mind if maybe that new friendship with Parka maybe struck a chord of compassion and sympathy in him, but Antonio Everett is a changed man and a motivated man. Huge suicide dive on top of Court Marshall, and these fans are right. This surely is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. The main event of Riot 554 as Court Marshall throwing Antonio Everett back into the ring. And now Court's going to start throwing those educated hands, but Everett quick to block. And now Everett throwing those educated feet and hands. The leg sweep putting Court Marshall down. Marshall quick to throw Antonio Everett off of him. And now Everett stirring, getting to his feet. But nope, Everett throwing him back, pulling him with a big scoop slam. A pullback scoop slam by Antonio Everett, followed up by a senton drop. Just all that 231 pound frame dropping on your chest surely does not feel good. A near fall there as Ted gets the two count. Fort Marshall still in this match. Antonio Everett has not done enough yet as Marshall just slams him to the ground there. Now, what does Court Marshall got going here as he starts throwing those educated hands once more? And then Court Marshall quick to roll him up by Antonio's long legs, getting him to the rope. And his toes were touching the ropes there. And that front face lock. And now Antonio Everett just wrenching on that neck and a nice rest hold. We all know Court Marshall loves his rest holds, but not when he is in the one not getting any rest as Antonio Everett is just wrenching on that neck of Court Marshall. That has to not feel good. Now Antonio throwing some big educated hands of his own and look at that! My goodness! And I think Antonio Everett is signaling the beginning of the end here for Court Marshall and here we go, your ma's favorite knee, that ripcord knee strike to the forehead of Court Marshall. This could be it. Two, and Antonio Everett 
victorious and very decisive style here tonight against Court Marshall. As I could only assume... Here is your winner, Antonio Everett. I could only assume that frustration from T.Y. Sparks attacking El Parca and trying to jump Antonio in the back was led up to this. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been your main event. I have been your friend, Brian Williams. That's all we got time for here tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you next time on OCW Turmoil.